Hey guys, how are you doing? Jordan here, and today we're going to talk about Dorian specifically. But as a matter of fact, we're going to be looking at this thing as a whole, meaning in general the empires. Now, the empires, most of them already managed to start pushing to the downside. Okay, which means Dorian, for one reason or another, is deviating from that. So if you take a look on the weekly chart, we have this divergence is building up pretty much everywhere. And we have these massive moves on more or less all of the players. Okay. So I think we could be looking into a short term opportunity, especially when it comes to the uh, dollar yen, of course. And again, if we go to the daily chart now, I'm, I'm speaking, but you should be also watching what's happening here. Look, where do we stand? So basically, this is the top and we have one massive move, right? But more or less, this is just two candles to the downside. Look where the other, the empire stand in terms of um, the top, where the top is and what kind of moves we got after the top was created. So. Dorian is lagging when it comes to this kind of correlation, and this is clear everywhere. Okay, so my idea here and assumption is that I was waiting for this to happen. Actually, daily chart shows the divergence, and on the lower time frames, I would like to start looking for some opportunities. Now, what's more interesting in this specific case, if we go to the other chart, we can see a bit of levels here but look what's up so first of all the weekly and the daily pivots right here platform x is showing us in the short term look for pullbacks and then sells and right? this is what this thing means and then when i take a look at the um spider-man volumes we see that the zone fits very very nicely with weekly and daily so is that a coincidence i don't think so we have a massive level right here and last time we went to this point and we visited you can see the kind of reaction we got from this zone and you can see also the way we broke through that zone so pretty massive move up until this point and once we came to this level the price stopped, spike started happening, consolidation started happening, up and down, up and down, fighting, and only then it broke. In my opinion, this is a sell opportunity right here. So the next time we go ahead and visit that zone, I will be looking for sell opportunities. And I think as a short term setup, this actually makes a lot of sense. You can see where the uh, platform X invalidation is for the daily chart. You can see where the weekly and the daily support number one stands, right? So something like this makes a lot of sense. Of course, first of all, we need to go ahead and break the bottom of this range, the bigger one, where we have the monthly pivot in between, and then we have the absolute bottom sorry something like that right here so a few levels on the way but overall this one was broken this is also a massive level right here but this one as long as it holds it could be a very very nice interesting opportunity plus looking at it from structural point of view the way i see it is that we're looking at some kind of wave number four this is the only way i can actually imagine this thing happening that being the first one that being the second one we're currently inside uh, this is three and now most likely building wave number four for number five to come something like that i mean this is the only logical explanation i can have in this case of course this is just an assumption right we don't have the facts yet uh but everywhere i look this is what i see okay 
I see a sell opportunity. So the first zone I'm going to focus is right here. And if you're going to be looking for aggressive setups, you can do it in one way. If you're going to be looking for conservative setups, you can do it in another way. But this is up to you to decide, right? Uh, I'm taking you 90% to the final goal. Now it's your job to decide if you like it at all and if you're going to trade it, which way exactly you're going to be trading it. So that's pretty much it. If you have um, any questions on the way how these things are done precisely when it comes to my personal experience and the way I'm trading, feel free to check out the traders terminal website. You can find the links below. Also, quick reminder that uh, the platform X Black Friday offer is expiring in a few hours. So if you like it, you can definitely check it out. Again, the link is below in the description. All right, guys, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.